Rose Donahue here with Vegas Talk. We have had the opportunity to visit Clexicon, a, con a convention for LGBTQ women and allies in media and entertainment. We'll be talking to convention attendees, panelists, and organizers to find out about the history of Clexicon, the history of w queer women in entertainment, and what's happening in modern media today. Could you share your name with us, please? Uh, my name's Holly. Nice to meet you, Holly. Nice to meet and you. how are you involved with this organization? Um, I'm one of the organizers. Of Clexicon. Of Clexicon. And how did you get involved with organizing this event? So I guess it kind of grew, I mean, um, after the, the backlash and everything happened, we realized that there was some more content that needed to be out. And um, what was the backlash that happened? <laughs> so um, on the, the show The 100, um, Clark and Lexa, they had this really great relationship and it evolved over a few um, a few episodes and then you know they had their happy moment and then they were Lexa was killed and um, she was probably one of the most interesting amazing complex characters lesbian characters uh, that we had seen on television in a long time so you know we saw people writing about it you know from all over the world I'm here with Molly who is currently dressed as Lexa oh looking good how, how did you make this costume did you make this costume I, first? I made I made it all I made it all um, it took me about two weeks to make on and off how did you feel when she was killed oh. honestly devastated I think that's the only word you can use like I've never felt that way about anything on TV and then logging online and just seeing that everyone else is feeling exactly the way you are, it was like, that's amazing. For average people in the LGBTQ mm -hmm. and ally community, what is a good way for them to get involved with media and entertainment? Um, I would say, um, you know, if you don't have the resources, it, what I love about the current climate is that you're able to make your own stories. I recently did a story, um, a movie that was all shot on an iPhone 6. It's called Nine Rides and it's about like an Uber driver and every rider has a different story to tell. And the, it's beautifully shot and it's like you see the lights and the, the streets and, and everything. And every time a driver would come into the car, I'm like, okay, what's their story, you know? What I'm saying is like people are able to do whatever they want these days, which is so cool. It's like I, when I was in college, I learned um, from professors. They were like, well, every story has been told. Like, don't even try to like tell a new story. It's all been done. This is a long time ago. And, um, and to this day, I'm realizing that that's so not true. It's like everyone has a personal story and, you know, you can tell it these days and you don't have to have a budget. You don't have to have permission from a producer or a network or whatever. You can tell your own stories, and so I want the you know the LGBTQ community to know that like you can be heard. Um, people will listen to your stories, um, and and you don't have to get permission. Just tell it. Oh, what do you think that is the main takeaway you would like for people attending the event? Uh, probably um, the main takeaway. There's a lot. I would say uh, to feel like they're important and to not see themselves getting killed off, you know, whether it's, um, you know, someone that's of uh, LGBT, a member of the LGBT community, or it's someone of any minority, you know, they're, we need to have them as heroes and stay heroes. We want to have people that are, that are, that are growing up see that, you know, you're not going, you're not this person, you're going to make it and you're going to make it in a safe environment. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much and thank you for organizing. No problem.